Okay, now you've got your four sections. What we're going to do is we're going to put these two sections, these are going to be together. Okay, so if there's a pattern on them, you want to make sure that they're going face to face like that. Now, what we're going to aim to do is we are going to aim to sew around the curve like this. So I'm just marking it so you can see the lines that I'm going to aim for. So that's about a centimetre from the edge of where you have cut. So then what I would like you to do is you might be lucky enough to have a needle that's already threaded but otherwise what you're going to do is you're going to thread yourself a needle. So what you do is you hold it, the thread, close to the end of your finger and thumb and then you're going to just look through the eye or the hole of the needle and you're going to just try to poke the thread in the hole of the needle like that and then you can pull it through now you can see this one has just fallen apart so i'm going to get another piece and blunten the edge of the thread like that and hold the thread up and repeat what I've just did so you're going to try and get the thread through the eye of the needle like that and just pull that thread through hopefully I'm going to get it this time there we go yep and like I always say to you is try to fold it like an arm's length and then fold it in half cut the two ends of the thread so you've got two tails together here and then what you're going to do is you're going to get those two tails and you're going to make a loop like this put the thread through the loop to be able to do the knot I will do that again okay so you make a loop then you put the tail through the loop like that and then pull the thread through so you could, should be able to see my knot okay I'm just going to get those extra bits off with the scissors. This is a bit blunt but let's just try and make this mask. So when you're sewing okay you want to go through all the layers of the fabric. Now I would ideally like the stitches to go and you're going in and out we're just going to do a, a running stitch okay and we're going to just go in and out in and out like this. Now there is a quicker way to do this. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and you go in and then you fold and in and fold and in and fold like that. Now when you get to the end of your needle, I'm just following the pen lines. That helps me keep in line you could should be able to pull all the thread through and then pull it out flat so try to keep your stitches nice and neat okay because this is going to make your face mask okay if if they get too wide apart you can always sew over them again so if i show you again so can you see now on both sides you should be able to see your stitches now you can go back over it if you want to to make sure that those stitches are nice and strong okay and you could sew in the bits in between the stitches that you've already done like this
and pull. So now that has got an, um, nice neat stitches. So what you can do um, at, at the end is you can go round and loop it on itself and then put the needle through the loop and that ties a knot. So I'll repeat that. So you can go through the fabric to create the loop then you can go around the loop and up through that ties a knot. So what we have done to these two pieces of fabric is we have made the first part of our mask. Okay, so like that. And we just need to repeat the same with the next two pieces. So if yours is plain or patterned, you need to make sure that the, they go together, so like that. And then again, like we did before, we are going to just mark about a centimetre from the edge of the fabric. Like that. And then we're going to repeat what we did with the needle and thread. So again, we're going to get the edge of the, the thread and we're going to just try and concentrate on the eye of the needle and thread the needle. Then then we can cut that and get our two tails make the tails into a loop, put the loop over and through the loop to be able to tie the knot. That will prevent the needle from falling off. And we're going to go over our pen lines. So this is the first stage of making our, our mask. So you go through two layers of the fabric and then you can go over inside, outside, inside, outside. And when it's got enough you can pull it through. You can see the black stitches. And then we're going to do the same thing again. Okay, and if you want to, like um, the first layer of your mask, you can go back over your stitches. So, like this. And then we're just going to tie those loose bits together. This is the other way of tying a knot. You can just tie the loose bits together like this. Round and there's the double knot. Okay, just make sure it's nice and flat. So we haven't got any ruching. And then cut them. Okay. So we should have two open mask shapes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put those on top of each other like this. So they are face to face. So you can see that the seams are showing but we need the seams to be in line. So like before, just to be clear, we are going to sew 
all the way across these two that we're going to be going like this to be able to create a nice shape to go over our nose and mouth so that's where we're going to be sewing now so again I'm going to just take out this thread and I'm going to thread the next bit okay so we're just going to put that through the needle I might need to blunt in the end again 